He's one of the longest tenured T-Rats, and now he's coming into his own as a leader on this ball club. Kelly Price takes a deeper look with a prospect profile on Demi Oramaloy. Demi Oramaloy's name often draws a double take or a mispronunciation. But the Nigerian-born Timber Rattler's full name a little more complicated than his lifelong nickname. Oluwa Demi Lade. Oramaloy and his family moved to Canada when he was a baby. And despite growing up in Ontario, he didn't play hockey. Instead, he played basketball, football, ran track, and I could volleyball too in high school. He didn't even pick up a baseball bat until age 10. My best friend, he told me his, his dad signed him up. And at first I didn't think anything of it. Then I was driving home with my mom and I said, can you sign me up? And it didn't take long to stick. By 15 years old, he was playing for Team Canada, traveling all over the world to play baseball. But by starting in baseball later on, the Brewers drafted Ormoloy because of his high athletic ceiling, as he continues to develop with the Timber Rattlers every game. You can see him now with more baseball knowledge, um, a little more, uh, he's, there's more comfort to his game. Uh, he's anticipating be better, and he's allowing that incredible speed that he has to play on the, on the field. When you read scouting reports for Warren Malloy, there's a comparison that comes up a lot. Body type and athleticism like Bo Jackson. In today's MLB, some have compared him to Angels outfielder Justin Upton, a player Warren Malloy actually admires from afar. I mean, it's cool, but like at the end of the day, you're you. So I like to say like, I'm my own player, but I like those guys. I like watching them, so that's cool. This year, Ormaloy is passing on tips learned from last season's vets to the younger guys in this T-Rats clubhouse. He's not big rah-rah guy. He, you know, he's he's not real loud. But I've asked him to lead by example um, and and make sure that he's the first one down here for our meetings and he's never late for anything because that wasn't always the case a year ago. It's you don't really have to even go out of your way. It's just when a guy doesn't know where the gym bus, like what's what to do, like just let him know and try and pick up your teammates if they're doing something wrong. As for Oram Malloy, he seems to be doing everything right so far this season, batting 276 with an 801 on base plus slugging percentage through the first 38 games. Keeping you connected from Fox City Stadium, I'm Kelly Price for NBC 26.